Michael, hello, Jerry from Look North. How satisfying was that win on Tuesday night? Yeah, that wins a win, you know. It, uh, of course, you enjoy them when you get them, and they're, they're definitely not easy to come by in, in, in this league. And um, so, yeah, it was, it was a good win, you know. It was obviously challenging. We had uh, a few changes and a few injuries, and um, I thought the boys were, were fabulous. Um, played great as a team, played really well individually, and, and got the results. So, yeah, it was a really good night for us. And with injuries the way they are, to have Matt Clark back first time in over a year must have been especially welcome. Yeah, it was probably the biggest. What, uh, that and, and, and Young Law making his debut were the two standouts for me really of the night. I think it was um, the game in itself was yeah it was 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 good when the game was good. But you know to to see Clarky back on the pitch from what he's from the kind of whole process that he's gone through really to to, to make it was was great. Law McKay looks like a very exciting prospect. Uh, there was a time you could have lost him. Um, it must be great to have him here and on the cusp of what could be a very exciting career. Tell us, for people who don't know about us, about him, what makes him special? Yeah, no, listen, it's great. He's, he, Law's trained with us a lot and it's, it's great that he's, he's made his debut. I'm, I'm not going to get and put loads on, on, on Law's shoulders, you know. He's, he's a young boy, he's, he's, he's making his way in the game, he's learning, he's, he's um, you know, he's the biggest thing about him for me is his, his attitude and his personality and his character. He's he's a he's a humble lad. He works hard, listens, and um, does all the right things. So um, he's given himself the best chance to to have a good future, you know. And he's he's certainly got uh, attributes and ability to be able to do that. And he's got to be patient, you know, and take it step by step. It's 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 a long road, but certainly he's making good progress at the moment. Yorkshire Derby then, well, what everybody calls the Yorkshire Derby, you'll have memories of your own playing at Elland Road, always a bit of spice for the fans. Do you set up any differently? Do you tell the players anything different before uh, an Elland Road game? <laughs> no, I don't think we do. I think it's, um, of course, you respect the, the game it is and the situation it is. Um, I'm sure I'll get a nice warm welcome when I go there as well. Um, but that's, you know, that's... Great, that's football. You want that. You want that emotion, that that passion, and that feeling. And, and some games bring different kind of atmospheres. And um, but really, it's for us in terms of preparing for the game. It's 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 business as usual, you know. And we are, the players have played in some big games certainly since I've been here in different challenging atmospheres and dealt with it very well. So I, I don't worry about that side of things at all. Preston. Promotion rivals as our leads. You know, if you can beat Preston four 0 confidence must be pretty high, even against Leeds, who were in third. Yeah, but we're sensible, you know, and we 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 understand this league and we understand the challenge we face. You know, that they're, they're a very good team with with um, largely Premier League players or who are experienced the Premier League, um, which which does kind of make a difference. Um, but we've shown and the boys have shown against Southampton and against Leicester that, that we are capable of challenging and, and, and playing well against uh, teams that have come down. So it's, um, you know, it's, it's a whole new game. And, and I think, if, well, I'm sure if we play if we play what we're capable of, then we, we've got a chance, you know, and I'm not saying it'll be easy. And the fact that we've just beat Preston kind of come Saturday at three o'clock is kind of irrelevant. You know, the boys will be looking forward to the game, be ready for it. Uh, but we know what it's like anything can happen in, in, in these games. Final question for me. You, you've, uh, you, think you said the other night that you've played better in previous games and not come away with the points uh, than you played at Preston. But despite recent form, are things beginning to click a bit now? Are you, is, are you in a good place as a squad? I think we've been good for a period of time, to be honest. I think um, largely the performances have, have, have been pretty good. And as I said, even when we haven't won, some of them performances have been better than we have. So I think from my point of view, you kind of take that because we're... You know, performances give you the chance to to build things and put things together, and over a long period of time, you know, result is a bit of a one off. If you don't play great and you win, it's it's good for that one, but it's not really sustainable. So th th there's a balance, you know. Results, of course, is, is what we all want, and um, but we're trying to put things in place over a period of time that'll that'll give us a good chance. And I think we, we you know, we're getting there. We're not getting carried away, but we're getting there. We're building, and the squad's looking strong. For the fact that we've got so many injuries, and, and yet the, the, the team, uh, we are still able, able to put out credit to the players and the quality and how they've trained and look after each other, and um, that we're able to, to still perform at such a high level. Great, cheers, Michael. Michael, you, you've played teams like Leicester and Southampton already, but go, going away to Leeds, a team that is up there and is likely to be up there for, for the rest of the season, is this one of those sort of measuring stick games where you can see where your guys are at? 
Yeah, I wouldn't really use it as a as a, as a kind of a, a measuring one or a see where. I think it's just it's a, it's another game for us. You know, it's, of course it's a tough game. <coughs> um, it's one of the tougher games that we'll, that we've on paper. You know, that you'll face. It doesn't always mean that much, but it, it certainly going into the game, we're well aware of what the, the possible challenge are ahead. Um, it's not going to make or break our season in terms of uh, tell us are we good enough or are we not good enough. Um, but it's it's you know it's, it's a great game for us to go there and try and win. That's for sure. Um, you mentioned about the, the sort of kind of local derby. Um, did did you enjoy that sort of crackling atmosphere when you were playing? And, and is is that something you encourage your players to enjoy? You have to enjoy it, yeah. I mean, all the all the um, atmospheres that are classed as hostile or difficult to play in, they're the best ones, you know. Um, they're the best ones, the ones that I enjoyed the most. So, um, for sure, speaking to the boys, I'll, I'll pass that on at the right time. But, um, you know, some people see that as it being a bit tough and a bit uncomfortable. But for me, it's exactly what we want. Um, this question of sort of the haves and have nots, I think probably in most leagues, but the championship is, is very much there. They can go out and they can buy Joel Pirro at the start of the season. They've got £30 million strikers in their squad. They've got the parachute payment. I mean, you've already beaten Leicester and you've already beaten Southampton, so you know that those teams are not unbeatable. But does it does it feel fair but when some teams just seem to have so much more resource than others in this division? It's the way yeah. the world, isn't it, I think? Um, that's football, you know. Some clubs are, are, are kind of... Um, have different structures and have, have different foundations. Some have more money than others. Some have different owners. Some it's it, some are bigger than others. You know that that's how it is. For us, it's what what happens on Saturday on the pitch. Really, um, that's our focus. The belief in the players to have the confidence to go there and play their own game and believe that uh, that we can go there and win and understand the challenge that it won't be easy. But we'll you know we're ready we're ready for it. That's that's really for our for us to 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 worry about. Um, the money side and parachute payments and who gets what. That's way above me, that. Thank you. Uh, Michael, on the injury front, how are you looking after Cheers tonight? Um, similar. We've got another day tomorrow, so we'll, we'll, we'll kind of see how Dale is, see how Hayden is. Um, but yeah, could go either way, really. Yeah, and is that bad news for Lucas then, is it? Yeah, Lucas is, Lucas is similar, but... Um, Again, we're yeah, we're just waiting on that. Really, we're, we're trying to give the boys as, as as long as the as long as they need or as long as they can have, and um, whether they can be involved in the weekend, whether they can start or whether they'll miss it, we're, we're still not sure. Really. Yeah, and, and on the injury front, like you mentioned the other night, like you know, the eight, eight senior players out injured, means of a good team. The the very different injuries as well, aren't they? Like if if you were assessing it and it was all muscle injuries, you might think maybe we need to scale back the workload. But it's not like that, is it? It's it's very different kind of injuries. I mean, you know, how how do you kind of factor that in? Is it just bad luck? Yeah, I think like you say, there's a, there's a there's a wide range. You know, we um, of course, we, you know, we look at it and, and and what can we do better on a weekly basis and any injury we get, we think, what could we do better? Is there something we could have uh, avoided? And, and sometimes you, you maybe you can, sometimes you're thinking, yeah, we possibly could have, but really might not made of a difference. And other times you just go, it's one of them things and, and it's a twist or it's a, it's an it's a impact injury. Or, <coughs> um, so there's all sorts comes into it. But yeah, you're right, there's, there's a, such a variety that it's difficult to... to um, to pin anything down to really, and um, hopefully um, we can get the boys back quick and, and 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 make the most of it when they are back. Yeah, just just what we haven't asked for a little while on. Uh, how's Lewis O'Brien doing? Yeah, he's okay. He's going through. He's he's going through his rehab, so he's he's still uh, a good number of weeks away, really. So, um, but he's he's making good progress, and um, he's in and around us here, and 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 working his way back, really, like like. There's, there's a group with them at the moment. Yeah, I know you don't like time frames as such on things like that, but is there a kind of? I'm not putting a time frame on that. I'm just he's been out for a number of weeks and he'd be out for a good few more weeks, but I don't want to put that on. Just otherwise you'd be asking me is he fit yet? Is he fit yet? When I give you a date, so I'm not going down that road just yet. <laughs> um, Ellen Road, you mentioned the atmosphere and the reception you might get. Do you have any kind of good memories of Ellen Road over the years? Um, have I got any memories? I think I've. Played there once or twice with West Ham. I played there. I only played a couple of times with United, actually. I think. Um, I remember playing centre half in a League Cup game. I think we won two or three. No, played centre half one night there. 
but um, we, unfortunately, in some ways, because of the great rivalry when I was at United, we didn't we didn't get to play each other um, too much. But um, it's in a, it's a good stadium, you know, and, and the fans at the moment they're on a good run um, in terms of I think it's six six uh, in a row they've won at home, so that it's obviously been kind and a good place for them to play. So they'll be looking forward to the game as, as just as much as us. So it should be a really good one. Just finally, for me, we've mentioned Lauren. He's, he's debuted in the night. I think he's the fourth academy uh, player you've given a debut to, and, and obviously you talk a lot about how much you, you love giving young players a chance. I mean, why is that? Why is that something that you do love so much? Um, why is it? I just think. Listen. Everyone, I needed a chance. I needed to uh, be given a chance. All the boys in the first team at the moment have needed to be given a chance at some point. Um, and there's there's so much talent and ability and um, potential around that. Um, we just try to give as many of them the opportunity as possible. And that's sometimes not just playing games with the first team. That's sometimes training. That's whether we're watching games as staff or whether they're coming up and joining in with the first team. And um, as I've said along, it's you know that's the academy's all that money and effort, time and effort goes into the academy. It's it's there for a reason to try and get players into the first team, and you know, of course it's down to the players as well, and, and and to being good enough and to to do enough to warrant the chance. But um, for us, it's a big part of what we're trying to do and encourage that and create ways that we can get them up with us more often. Yeah, you, you mentioned how important that is for the club. You know, I mean. If you you consider some of the academy players in the first team, the likes of Hayden and Deal. And you think if, if they didn't come through the club, how much would they, you know, potentially cost the club in in the market? I mean, were, were there were there any conversations around that when you were first coming to the club with the likes of Steve and Kieran about you know the importance of the academy to this football? Club? Yeah, it's a two way thing really. It's it's something that I've, you know, I was kind of brought up at West Ham. It was a big part of the club at West Ham. Um, I was at Tottenham for a short period, but going to United, obviously, it's a huge history of it as well. So it's kind of, of um, what I've been brought up with, really, and, and I'm used to, and it's what I care about. So it was, it was two way, really. It was that was kind of me, and obviously, it's from a club's point of view, of course. And I, and I think, and um, even forgetting the kind of money side and what it costs to buy the player, I think for the, for the supporters to have, you know, local, um, local lads in your team and and having that connection and. Uh, you can't. It's very difficult to have a full team of them, but you know, to to have them does create that connection, and hopefully that gives our supporters that extra little bit of spice and and, and feeling and connection towards the team. Johnny Housen obviously came through at Leeds. When, when you go back, when you go to a game like that, an atmosphere like that, regardless of the fact he's played from in the past, how important is his experience and just a calm head, really, make sure everyone's set. Yeah, experience is a wonderful thing, you know, and um, to help you deal with situations, it's 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 strange in some ways. There's kind of there's there's extremes, you know. You got the ex really experienced players that um, have been through a lot, seen a lot, and know how it's kind of what it feels like. Trying to keep your emotions in check or your kind of concentration levels in check, and then sometimes the other end of the scale when it's new, the freshness of of, of Young players and, and the excitement of playing the game like that and playing with that, almost without the care in the world of, of knowing what could possibly go wrong and and, and um, there's 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 that side of it as well. So uh, then you get the bit in the middle where you you, you kind of um, still get an experience and um, not quite fresh. Maybe you've had a setback or two in one of these games, so you're managing it. Um, but certainly experience helps when you use it in the right way and and, and players have, like Johnny, you know. Is the standout one for that in terms of leading by example, really. Just on Johnny, obviously missed the back end of last season to injury, then he got the um, problem in pre-season. How, how pleased have you been with the way he's come back in? Because it must be tough, it must be difficult to, to miss such a bulk and then get straight back in thing when when you know the season's underway and everyone's at full speed. Yeah, I think it just sums up you know what what and who Johnny is really and how he how he kind of. Um, respects his profession if you like and respects his body and looks after it in the right way trains well um has an unbelievable attitude and i think to to, to still be playing um the age he's at, at at such a level and for me he's still got he's got more to come it's it's not counting down the days by any stretch i think is is credit to him you know to 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 how he's not just over the last few weeks if you're injured it, it's kind of it builds up over a long period of time and I know we've talked loads about Hayden over the last year, but how beneficial has it been for him to have Johnny alongside him on and off the pitch? 
Yeah, I, th- I think so. I think probably Hayden's is what is is good at answering that as is, is, is me probably better really. But I, I do think looking from from my point of view that um, he's been able to he's had someone next to him to be able to rely on and um, and had good players in that midfield with him. Um, you know, we had um, Alex last season in there who was who was just really solid character and unbelievable trainer um, and Dan as well now. Is you know Alex and Dan. Two of the best trainers we, we we've had since we've been here, and um, that rubs off on Hayden as well. So I think he's got good he's got good people. He's had good people around him, and he'll certainly benefit from that. Just ask about Latte Latham. You see a couple of starts. He's he's quite unpredictable in a, in a complementary sense. It must be a nightmare to play against if you're a defender. From your perspective, is it a case of maybe trying to polish him up and coach him in the things you want him to work on, but embracing that side of his game and not taking that away from him? Yeah, for sure. Listen, we bring players to the club because of what they can do as well. And I think there's, um, you know, we got a way of trying to play and there's a structure to it. But then there's almost, I say it to all the time, about the element of the freedom and expression. And, and as long as it's within the structure and it's, you, you're working for the team, everyone's different, you know. So we don't want to create everyone to, to play the same way. I think the um, man who is, is what he is, you know, he's, he's sharp, he's unpredictable, he's quick, he's around the box, he can finish with both feet, he scored it. With his, he scored with his head and um you know he brings that for us he's he's different to josh josh is is what he is and does uh terrific at what he does and um so there's there's always the balance between you know bringing players in for the reasons shaping them a little bit helping them and and, and letting them fit in and then there's a little bit of on them of wavelengths really and, and individuals and connections with who they're playing with and understanding each other's game um i think like uh, Johnny created a good chance for Manu the other night, where Johnny's gone through the middle and played a through ball, and uh, Manu got down the side, and that, that's that's his game, you know. So it's a little bit of playing to each other's strengths within within the system, and uh, sometimes that takes time. But um, I'm sure Manu will, will do well and, and score goals for us. And, and is that nice for you to have two strikers who are quite different to give you two different options going into games? Yeah, it was well, it was a deliberate. It was a deliberate decision, you know. We 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 made that call. Um, there's no hiding from the fact that <coughs> if, if 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 Josh is Josh and Manu is Manu, and um, they bring what they bring, which is fantastic for us to have the options. Uh, and who knows, they can play together as well in 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 different ways. If if we go down that route at some point, so um, it's definitely good to have the options. Just finally on Josh, I know you said he'd had the little niggle in the national break, but. Will he need these spells throughout the season to be managed carefully, maybe to be in and out? Because it would be a huge ask for to just throw him in and expect him to play. Yeah, I think there's, that's a big responsibility for me and the staff as well as of um, working together to 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 look after the younger players and look after Josh and managing the loads and, uh, and not expect too much of them all the time. And um, sometimes they might get a little frustrated about that because you know that, and rightly so, they want to play and they want. You know, to um, they don't see that side of it, but we 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 need to protect them a little bit and look after them, and as I said, not expect too much. You know, it is a lot um, to be playing week in week out, and um, that's like you said about the experience before. That's that's kind of learning that side of it, but um, that lands on our toes a little bit in managing that because it's not just last week, this week, or next week. It's you know we're we're going through till May, and we need everyone, especially at the moment, to 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 carry us through.